he, he asked me, George, what are your biggest sales goals for 2021? And I was like, Tony, I want to be the number one rep in the business department next year. He's like, ambitious, I like it. And I was like, thanks. He's like, well, let me ask you a question. Are you interested or are you committed to achieving that goal? And I said, what's the difference? He said, good question. And he said, well, if you're interested, you're going to do what's convenient. You're going to do what's comfortable. You're going to do what's familiar. You probably won't achieve that goal and you probably won't be with us next year. I was like, all right. And he says, but if you're committed, you'll do whatever it takes. And so I'm, th I'm sitting there with Tony and I'm thinking, I can't tell him I'm interested in achieving this goal. You know, fire me on the spot. <laughs> so I say, Tony, I'm, I'm committed, man. I'm, I'm ready to go. Do whatever it takes. Let's go. And he says, great. So here's one thing that you need to do. And so he pulls out this five-part accountability study uh, done by Dr. Gail Matthews at a Dominican university. And as he's going through the five-part study, which I'm going to share with you at the end of this presentation, as he's going through this five-part study, one thing that he says hits home for me and hits me in the heart. And feel free to write this down. He says, George, accountability breeds ownership of results. My name is Ryan Klaprick. I'm the senior sales director for Forge Genetics International. And we chose George to speak for us at our sales event because he seemed to have a passion for change and accountability. Accountability breeds ownership of results because all of Tony's salespeople, including me, either have their own business or have had their business in the past. We're all commissioned salespeople, so it's fly or die. And so he knows that because a business owner is gonna look at a sales role not as a job, but as their own business. And that's what I wanna challenge you all when you leave here, to look at your role not just with a sales role with FGI, but you have your own business within the organization. And when you do that, when you look at it from that mindset and that mind frame, that's what separates really great salespeople from average salespeople. If you're thinking about hiring George, I'd recommend him. He, he did a great job with us. He connected with our audience. And so he showed me that five-part accountability study. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. And one year later, you see in November there, uh, I was the number one producing rep. And I don't share that to, to impress you, but to share, there's only a few things that you need to do different to really stand out, to really take your game to the next level. So my question to you all is, are you interested or are you committed? Because if you're interested, you're gonna do what's convenient, you're gonna do what's comfortable, you're gonna do what's familiar, and who knows, maybe long term, you won't be with the company anymore, who knows? But if you're committed, you're gonna take your game to the next level.